Tia Y.E., better known as Beauty Rebellion, if you are new here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button before we even get started. Today's video is going to be a quick hair review on this wig from Julia's Hair. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys all about this hair. So if you are interested in learning all about this Julia's Hair wig and how I got it like this, keep on watching. Okay guys, so this is the wig I'm going to be installing today, um, my Julia's hair wig. I went ahead and washed it and straightened it and plucked it um, when I received it. As you can see, the part is not a regular closure. There's this cloth-like material sewn beneath the closure and the parting space is 4 by 0.75 inches. So it's literally just like a T closure. The part and like 0.75 inches of lace in the front when i was plucking the part i got a few holes in the lace which was a little disappointing because i wasn't even being rough when plucking the lace meaning the lace on the wig is pretty thin so yeah that's why the part may appear a bit wide but i'm going to use a little trick later in the video to help camouflage it now that that glue completely dried around the perimeter of my head i'm just going to go ahead and cut the elastic band off of the front of the cap to achieve that bald cap look now you see me just removing the lace from the back of the wig so most lace wigs come with these two straps in the back and you can attach them together to kind of create like an elastic band effect so your wig could be more secure. I went ahead and cut the lace off the front of the wig and I added some powder. Um, and now I'm just gonna put her on. All right, y'all, first impression, I love the color. Um, and the length of this hair the wig is 22 inches long and I'm kind of short so it's a pretty nice length on me the hair is really soft and for the hair to be 150% density it's really full alright guys so before I change my clothes and finish up the video I am going to go ahead and fix the closure part because for me, when I wear colors like this, I like for the part to be like dark um, and kind of look more like an ombre. So I have this. I'll link the name of this in the description for you guys. This is temporary hair dye. It's like a temporary hair dye spray type of thing. And I'm going to go ahead and spray it here just so that the closure part looks a little bit more natural realistic and so it's more comfortable for me like i said i did pluck the closure and the closure ripped a little bit so we gotta fix that um i'm gonna go ahead with my rat tail comb i'm gonna put it right in the middle and that's pretty much how big i will want my part to be and then I'm just gonna spray. And I'm just gonna spray a little bit more. And now I pretty much have like that ombre part that I wanted. I'll have to dye it. We'll worry about the dye bleeding on the hair being too messy. I like the hair. The hair is so flowy and bouncy and cute and straight. Um, for it to be colored hair, it doesn't feel synthetic. You guys know sometimes when you get um, colored hair, it can sometimes appear a little like stringy or like Barbie hair-ish. But that is not the case with this hair. It feels so good. Okay, Rebels. 
this is how it looks this is how it turned out i hope you guys like this video i will be doing an updated review for julia's hair on this wig in a month so i'm thinking about switching it to bangs since the closure is no more good what y'all think thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys smooches